Hey guys, it's JD from Eastwood, and in this video, we're going to be going over the largest in the lineup of the Eastwood shop presses, the Eastwood 20 ton shop press. This is going to be able to apply the pressing power that you need to remove stuck bearings, the space to work with large awkward pieces, and it's going to allow you to press, bend, straighten, or stamp anything you want to. This is made from heavy duty high grade steel in an H frame construction that's going to minimize any flex and is going to make sure this press stays strong and accurate under load. All of the Eastwood shop presses meet 2014 ASME PASE standards, which simply put means that these presses are tested to 150% of their maximum load, so 30 tons for this press, and at that pressure we saw no deflection or weld failure. Also, all the internals and sealed surfaces are highly polished. That makes it a little easier on the seals, so you know this is going to last you a very long time. And Eastwood backs this press with a one-year warranty. Looks-wise, this is sealed in a very nice black powder coat. That adds to the looks, but it also adds to the durability as well. Keeps the frame sealed away from any corrosion, and it makes these very easy to clean if they do happen to get a little dirty. Speaking about the design, this style of press does have more adjustability than the other bottle jack style presses. First off, the bed of course. That moves up and down, just simply pull out the pins, slide the bed around, and lock it back into place. Very simple. With this being the largest press that we offer, there are plenty of different levels you could set the bed at. There's nine different ones in fact, and they're spaced about four and three quarter inches apart. But also, more importantly, the ram itself at the top of the press, this slides left to right. Just as easy as that, allowing you to press off-center from the frame if you have to. Doesn't even require loosening anything, as you just saw. It just slides back and forth along this top plate here. Great design, very quick and easy to adjust. But generally, that's a huge advantage that you get when you go with a ram style press like this one. You get that left to right adjustability, which is something you just don't usually get with a bottle jack style press. Another huge advantage is that the throw with a ram style press is usually a little bit longer. This one is seven and a quarter inches, and you don't have that spring bar and the springs getting in your way when you're working with something awkward, which does tend to happen with those bottle jack style presses. And in my personal opinion, the Ram style press is a little bit better design overall and the way to go. This shop press is great for all larger projects, pressing, stamping, bending, all the bearing work. It also works great with our dimple die set, which when you're doing metal fab work, the dimple dies are a great way to shed weight and add rigidity at the same time. And I think they give a pretty cool look too. They give that sort of World War II bomber seat style look that everybody really likes. This will also work with our press brake attachment, which is a great way to make 90 degree bends, even in thicker pieces of metal. If you don't have a brake, you don't want to spend the money, or you don't have the room in your shop, that attachment is a great option, and it'll work with either the 12 ton or the 20 ton presses. The lever handle is nice and long, gives you all the leverage you need, and it pops out of the press for easy storage. You also have the option to pump with the foot pedal. That allows you to position your piece with both hands, get everything lined up, get a little bit of pressure on there, and then you can stand off to the side while you're applying your real pressure. Just in case anything does happen to slip out of the press, shoot out of the press, you're out of the way if it does happen and sort of behind this part of the frame. Good bit of design there, good thinking, little bit of extra safety, and it's a good option to have both. The gauge at the top is also very nice. It's liquid dampened, so it's easy to get an accurate reading, and it's about four and a quarter inches across. So big wide dial that's easy to read, and it has scales for both metric and US tons. Operation of this press, gonna be as simple as it gets. The release valve is right there. You align your piece using the two included bed plates, and then you can pump using either the foot pedal or the lever handle. Press the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're giving away a MIG 180 welder at 500,000 subscribers. Also, make sure you check out our channel as well. We post tons of great how-to content over there that you're definitely going to want to see. We'll have all the shop presses linked below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm JD. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.